Now, if you want to stick around, we'll do q and A. I'll answer all your burning questions to the best of my abilities, and we'll go from there. All right. Banners, comments. Let me get this out of here. I don't need this. Ah, that's not a green. This is a green screen. I'm in my mom's basement right now. Clown coin is a better coin. So here we go. Uh, this is great from Gary. I have a feeling there's no Lambo tomorrow. Gary, I have to agree with you. I don't think, you know what I'm going to do? Everybody who I, who I interview, that's going to be my last question. So like when I get chat in here, I'm like, you know, we'll talk about uh, uh, the Bitcoin mining operation and the electricity use here in Texas. I'm going to say, and then last question, Chad, when Lambo? And let's see what he says. And I should just do that from now on. Uh, Rick, thanks for sharing your time. You have a great dedication to truth and power. More people need to take response for themselves and stop blaming others. Look, I just show up. Like I, I always say like this, it's just like the army. Just wear the right uniform and show up and you'll be successful. That's it. Chicken Ray says, <laughs> Chicken Ray, when 17K? Well, if you'd believe a lot of people, it's coming, it's right around the corner. 17K is always right around the corner. 12K is right around the corner from what people tell me. But I don't know. I don't have a crystal ball. That's why dollar cost average. The moment deep Bitcoin decouples from the stock market, that'd be a good time. Uh, Occam's Razor, good one. Rob, who will buy a Voyager? I don't know. Has to be a group of people. It has to be a group of organizations. And, and then, but the next question is, really it comes down to, if you buy out Voyager, how can you make the investors whole? And how can you make the investors trust you again? That's the bigger play. Because once trust is gone, that's it. Sorry. It's going to be a real uphill battle for you. Orlando. This is a good one. As Celsius pays down their loans, they're also freeing up locked collateral. Not that they have enough liquidity. And the question then is, if they free up collateral for the individual user who maybe have a lo has a loan, what can that person do with that collateral once it gets unlocked? Can they take out another loan? I'm sure they probably could. And, or can they withdraw that? That's the bigger question. Neil Diamond, Neil Dearman. Investor trust will be made by making them hold, exactly. And not even that, but let's, let's be honest. If you had to, damn, that hurts. If you had to go through all this heartache and problems just to get what's owed to you, do you think just that, one to one would be enough. He'd be like, "Oh, thank you so much. I'm gonna. I can't wait to come back." Or would it have to be more? Like, look, even when you, when you go into a flight and they delay it, they usually give people something or whatever else it is. So, uh, I mean, in all honesty, I mean, what do I get for my pain and suffering? You know, maybe some people needed that to pay their mortgage. Or maybe some people have a bad ticker and it put too much stress on them, and now they have more gray hairs. Just saying. Uh, <laughs> Rob, I lost lots of crypto and Voyager. Can I stay in your pool house? I don't know how you would do that. That is a green screen. Uh, <laughs> I bet dog the bounty hunter can find the three-year-old guys. We'll see. Yeah, this is a good point. Gas fee fees. Uh, Celsius also rehypothecated lots of the crypto, which just means it's being loaned out. If they put in a USD, it will take time to unwind those contracts to get everything back. True. Uh, NFTs are dead. Joke's on you if you bought a board API club. Some people think they still have value. I don't really get into the NFT thing. The only ones that I, well, I, I hold still some NFTs, but they were like ridiculously cheap and I was just pretty much gambling. But the ones I do like, again, are these guys. And again, I'm not saying to go buy them out or whatever else. I'm just saying I like the, I like the community. I love the community. They're funny as hell. Uh, Coin Father, what do you think the CPI will be tomorrow when announced? I believe 8.7. Look, I've been very negative on these CPI numbers coming out, and uh, maybe I'm just wrong. You know, maybe I'm just wrong about the bear market. Maybe I'm just wrong altogether. So I don't know. But that's why, like, it. So it doesn't matter if it if the CPI numbers are just like super high or super low. I have a plan. The plan is, you know, if the if the prices or the CPI number comes out, it's like super ridiculously high or even just higher than what people expect. Great. Then I just wait and then I buy up things. If it's really good and inflation starting to get under control, uh, then I buy immediately. 
And because I think the stock market or the stock market, crypto and stock market will go up. I don't know anything about the Exodus wallet. Sorry. Celsius could be yield farming. Could be. Oof. Let me surprising. They do a lot of that uh, DeFi play anyhow. Mark Davies says Celsius is over a billion in the hole. I think it's 2 billion, but I could be wrong. 117 million paid back is nothing. True. That's a good point. <laughs> Can you teach us some crypto terms in Spanish? No. That's for Big E to, to answer. Rob, what do you think about Nier these days? I, you know, I did that deep dive on Sweatcoin, which you can watch today over on Dan Degen, which is the riskier second channel. <clears throat> and there was one, there was a couple of concerns I had with Sweatcoin. I think there was like six or seven. Watch the video, I explain it. And one of those was the Nier protocol because it's really untested. And the question was, even though Sweatcoin is an app that's been around for three years, has 100 million plus downloads and so on and so forth, great community. The question is, can Near keep up with those transactions per second when they do the airdrop on September 12th? That's my concern. So I don't know. I, I met the CEO of Near. Seems like a nice guy. That doesn't mean anything. I need him to tell me. I, I need them to show me that it can be done. <laughs> Hey, Army, we're going to do that meetup uh, over in El Paso next week. My grandson leaves this week, which is a bummer, but uh, we'll do the meetup. The Army is, <laughs> this is funny. The Army saying is this, just be 10% more polished than the turd next to you. It's very, very funny. You can't polish a turd, but you can put glitter on it. Texas Grid is exposed. They're supposed to be the energy hub. They are supposed to be. That's true. But we saw what happened in the last winter. Didn't really work out. The truth does hurt, but I give you guys a lot of pain. You guys must be uh, masochists, but it's just the truth. There's a lot of, but you know what's great is that it, when you get done with this video, you can go to somebody else who's like hopium all day long. Bitcoin's going to the moon. There, there's, you can't swing a dead cat without hitting those guys in the head. When Spanish channel? It's a good question. I should do that. First Coast Crypto has a good point. CPI might actually be priced in today. And there's been talk about the stock market's already pricing in uh, these Fed uh, rate hikes, and it could be. And they've already priced in uh, Ukraine and the uh, supply chain issues and the China lockdowns, and Chinese, Chinese lockdowns. Maybe, I don't know. I guess we'll see tomorrow just how much it uh, increases or barrels down when the numbers come up. Yeah, Des, St. Jude, best of luck. Oh yeah, that's my grandson. Texas is super hot. Like today in this green screen room, it's probably gonna be like 95, 98 degrees just in here. Do you want any other taste? I do. I owe this one called Lynx Dow because I just wanted to see how it worked. Because I was trying, I was thinking about doing this for real estate that didn't pan out. Me and Lucas, a friend of mine, Lucas in Puerto Rico. But I did Lynx Dow. I have a NFT which I can start playing golf whenever they open up their their courses newsflash they probably won't but who knows and then uh, the next part will be i have to learn to play golf that's why i got my man mullet to help me so <laughs> next week uh wednesday we'll do it wednesday hump day so if you're in the el paso area if you own a bar restaurant type of place hit me up and then uh, i'll bring a bunch of people to your place <laughs> <laughs> hashtag bofa yeah ah sorry bug off it was a good one today it was long though but i thought it was pretty good texas instead of instead of dc i should told voyager i want to borrow a thousand of bitcoin look i'm going to steal that john that's really good instead of dcing i should have just told voyager hey give me a thousand give me a thousand dollars of bitcoin but i'm not gonna give any collateral you can trust me i know uh the guys with three arrows capital <clears throat> gold 1550 or 1100 i don't know but i gotta tell you i'm glad i own both i own gold silver and bitcoin i never understood why the gold bugs are so adamant about hating on bitcoin we're all trying to get out of the same crappy system right shill king you know that shill king thing that i came up with <clears throat> i came up came up with that as a joke and uh, unfortunately, 
that really backfired against me where I'd say I'm the shill king. But I was like, yeah. so maybe I should say promo king now on, but I don't know. Meet up at Chico's. Chico's doesn't have beer. And all they have is those, I don't like the tacos. The hamburgers are okay, but everybody likes the tacos. I don't like them. Oh, look at this. A little update from Myra. Rob, according to Zapper, Celsius paid back more debt today. The total debt left is 59 million. That's pretty good. Now let's open up those withdrawals and see what happens. Flips. I don't know where that is. And that's it. We're going Central Army if you're in the west side. I'm not going in the Sunland Park west side area. I'm just too lazy. But I'll meet you in the middle. LNJs, that's a great place to go to. <laughs> that shirt is wild. <laughs> Troll Whisperer, that's pretty good. Uh, 3AC did nothing wrong. Of course they didn't. That is hashtag sarcasm. Yeah, poor Schiff. I heard about his bank. He's my neighbor. We're in Puerto Rico together. He's in a much, much richer community, though, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, I saw that he wants to sell, it, sell his bank in Bitcoin. That'd be awesome. Uh, Northeast. Nice beard, bro. Yeah, you know, that's a good point. Jonathan Wire says, hey, to be fair, Board Ape Yacht Club is still trading for 100 ETH. Minimum, have lots of, and still has lots of volume liquidity. I gotta tell you, some people will still want that status. They still want that status for the NFC. I personally don't think it does anything. I don't, I don't think it has any utility. But here we are. Oh, I like that. Coconuts, that's a good place. That's a great place. Have a great day, man. Tim. Multiple sarcasm. No, I was a, I was army. No, I was a medic, a combat medic. Good times. Uh, you're the best. I was like that. Thank you. What's your predictions? I think it's going to be higher than what people think it's going to be. I don't think inflation under control. Although that Trueflation website didn't give me pause which was this one. Trueflation, 30 data points. It's free to access. It uses a chain link for, as an oracle to pull in outside data. And you can see it's gone up. And then, you know, when uh, the Fed started to pull off the, the rate hikes, yeah, it's come down a little bit. So maybe, again, maybe I'm wrong. And God, I hope I'm wrong. That'd be great for, yeah. Hopefully I'm wrong. Uh, Navy CB, Bitcoin is 16K. And we'll leave it with this. Combat medics. Welcome, Marius. Combat medics are nuts. Okay. So guys, that's it for today. I got to get some things done. I got to go meet with the construction guys. So if you like today's video, thumbs up, uh, subscribe, all that great stuff. I'll be here every single day and uh, talking to you about what's going on. So if you like this stuff, stop by tomorrow and I will see you then. So thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Adios. Boop, boop.